Hi there, this is Angie Monko, and I want to welcome you to December 1st, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Today I want to talk about do you try to control things and worry about things to an excess? I realize, by the way, I'm Angie Monko. I realize that I'm sort of out there when it comes to some of my perceptions about things and how I look and and view the world and so I teach people to be worthy self-advocates which means to show up as yourself and know that it's okay to have differing opinions with the election that just got over my gosh we it seems like you turn and look at one person and they have a totally different view than you do and we get we tend to get very worried when other people have different views than ours and so my objective is to help you find your voice so that you can be happy and fulfilled and and so I'll do that I want to meet you where you're at which I believe is worry and concern and the need to control things and just put my personal spin on that so I have of course have been guilty of doing the same exact thing worry and then try to control things and then when things don't go my way I try to control even more why do we do this why do we do this well what I have learned is that the reason that I want to try to control things is because I want to control people's perception of me I want to protect my image how do I define that image image would be things such as how I look or how I dress the car that I drive the house that I live in how I behave I want to protect how other people perceive of me the choices that I make and so we try very hard I call these the trappings of success and the reason they're trappings is because they do have a tendency to leave us feeling trapped because we're striving we're we're trying really hard to to appear a certain way to people and that is the nature of humanity that is the nature of having an ego or a personality however you want to define that and nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it at all it's totally normal and natural to want to protect our image, our ego identity. Another way to say it is identity. Well then why am I talking about it? Because I have found that it leads me to suffer when I'm worried about what you think. I mean just like doing this video once a month for my newsletter, there's a concern of oh my gosh, you know, am I gonna look good enough <laughs> in the camera? Do I have bags under my eyes? And as I'm writing this blog and this, what I'm gonna talk about today, I think, you know what? <laughs> That's purely ego, man. It's purely ego. And, and then I step back and say, who cares? Who cares? Well, my ego does care, but there's a bigger part of me that really doesn't and that knows it look if I just show up when I'm real and I'm authentic with you and perhaps you can get something out of that really the reason I'm talking to you today about this topic of the need to worry because we think if we worry we're gonna get things done and then we try to control things to get things done the reason I'm talking to you about this is because it's so prevalent and, and it drains our energy and it leaves us feeling out of control. I have in the last year and a half been so clearly shown that it's not about my efforts. It is not. I've been clearly shown that it is the more that I try the less effective I am. And this is really hard for a doer. Can you relate? Are you a doer? I, all my life, I have 
been the type of person who would pride myself on being able to accomplish things and get things done and be productive. I measured my self-worth based on my to-do list accomplishment. I measured that. I, it's like if I got enough done at the end of the day, then I could check off these things and say, yes, I had a good day. But if I didn't, then the opposite was true. And I would be hard on myself. Now things are much different in my inner world and in my mind and how I think and how I perceive life. Now I realize that I'm not the doer. <laughs> and that there's something else in charge here. And it's never been me, the personality of Angie, that's been in charge. And you can call it whatever you want to call it. God, true creative essence, higher power, something else is in charge. Not the ego, the appearance of Angie Monco, or the appearance of your personality. There's something much greater in charge. And so, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. And I know this is a pretty deep subject. It can be very involved and probably beyond the scope of this conversation. But I still, it was, it was on my mind and I was reading or I saw a video clip today of Nick Nolte in a movie. Oh, what was it called? Um, hold on. Oh, I put it away already. How to Be a Warrior, or something about a warrior. It was a, a movie with Nick Nolte. In fact, hold on. See, I'm being perfectly imperfect here. I can tell you what it is because I wrote it down. The Way of the Warrior. The Way of the Warrior. And, and in it, uh, there's this guy, a young man, who's trying to win an Olympic gold medal through, I don't know if it's gymnastics or whatever, and he was really upset because... He felt like that goal was on the line, that that he wasn't going to be able to do it. I don't know, his coach said something to him that made him think that his chances at winning the gold were lost. So Nick Nolte, who is this spiritual teacher, is having a conversation with this young man, and, and they're talking about his dreams. And he's saying, but don't you understand that this is my dream? And Is it wrong to have a dream? And this is what really got me. And Nick Nolte basically said, no, you don't have to surrender your dreams. Think about that. Dreams and desires come from God, from a higher power, from a higher source. And he says, you don't have to surrender your dreams. He says, you have to surrender something that you never had in the beginning, in the first place. Control. Control. And that made me tear up because I have thought about, I'm putting it away, that the whole dream notion is like, is it okay to dream when we're not in charge of outcomes? Is it okay to dream? Yes, it is. It's, it's very okay to dream. We just have to let go of the need to control that outcome because we're not in control of it. We've been given passion. We've been given purpose or lack thereof. And all I need to do is to turn the page from day to day and see how life is going to unfold. It doesn't mean I'm not going to take action or do things. It simply means that I get to enjoy it. I get to relax and turn the page as my life unfolds. I don't have to control every little detail to the nth degree. like the old Angie would have. This is good news. It's, it's not bad news. It's really good news. But the ego at first will feel like, no, save me, I'm gonna... Remember like the witch, the bad witch in Wizard of Oz, how she felt like she was gonna dissolve? That's what the ego feels like when it begins to realize it's not in charge. Because it has a very high need for importance. You are important. You are a special, unique creation of this universe. We'll never really fully understand what's going on here. But I do believe that when we can surrender the need to control, just surrender to 
this vast, amazing, infinitely intelligent energy or power or whatever you want to name it. Labels really aren't important. That it's all wonderful. Every experience that we have is wonderful. And so I come to you with a heart of gratitude and if you've listened to the end of this video then I want to say that I wish you are blessed and that you can experience the gratitude of knowing that no matter what is happening in your world, no matter how worried you are, that you are always a hundred percent safe and supported beyond your understanding. And so I want to wish you a very, very blessed December. No matter what religion, race, creed, color, belief system that you might have, you are important to me. So until next month, take very, very good care of yourself. And I'm going to move in now and I'm going to shut off the record button. Bye.